Hi, everybody. <laughs> Adam Savage here. Uh, in the cave. Hey, uh, oh, hold on. I can't quite see. There we go. Hi, everybody. Adam Savage here in my cave. Uh, and recently, my friends at FBFX uh, made a casting of my head. Sorry, they made a scan of my head with their high-resolution uh, photogrammetry scanner. And this is the result. Uh, this is a one-to-one... This is a one-to-one -one 3D print of my noggin. I had a hairnet on so I can actually use this for cosplay to build stuff off of. This is fantastic. Um, but I uh, I sent a... <laughs> that's a weird pose. Uh, but I sent a... Um, I sent a... I sent a picture of the scan to my friend Victor down in LA and he's like, hey, the strike has everybody out of work. Uh, you know, I can take that scan and help make you a... Uh, severed animatronic head, Adam Savage animatronic severed head prop. And I was like, nothing would make me happier. <laughs> so I sent him the scan. Uh, no, I'm not going to send you the scan. I, there's only, yeah. I don't think we're gonna make this publicly available. I just don't see a lot of, I see fun happening from that, but I also see a lot of not great things. So anyway, um, ah. Right, so we're gonna scan, so he has a scan of my head, he can work on an underskull and animatronics on that, and I think he's gonna have his whole trunnion jaw and hopefully we'll film more of this. But right now, uh, Victor has asked me for my teeth. And uh, my dentist does scan my teeth, but uh, we don't have a recent scan, so I'm going to make a mold. Now I bought some, um, you know, when you go to the dentist, you have your teeth molded in something like this. Back when I was a kid, we used a dental uh, uh, casting compound called alginate, which is seaweed based. And uh, alginate is phenomenal for high fidelity copies, but they are uh, uh, not stable. They are, it is water based. And the way you work with alginate is you make a mold, like you put your teeth in and then immediately you mix up a, a stone plaster and you pour it into that mold. Because every like 10 minutes that mold is drying out, it's changing shape slightly. But alginate's what you always saw like in the classic behind the scenes stuff where they're casting actors and they got two straws out of their nose. They don't do that anymore. But like, you know, they're piling that goop on actors. That's alginate. But these days, there are a multiplicity of awesome materials that, uh, like alginate, set up in a very short period of time. Like alginate are uh, uh, non-toxic and mouth safe, but unlike alginate, these molding compounds are stable. Uh, so this is a company, TYS Jewelers. I found these guys on Amazon and they sell a little kit with two mouth trays and two sets of effectively a two-part silicone that sets in less than five minutes. And so I'm going to cast my upper and lower plate right now. Actually, I'm gonna brush my teeth just for a second. So just for cleanliness sake. And then we're gonna cast my teeth. It's uh, This is a company that makes custom grills. So you send them your, uh, you send, you basically, you go follow these directions, put these in, send that to them. And if you only want the first four, they tell you, you don't have to use too much. Uh, so they'll make grills for you, which is, you know, that's awesome. Uh, not my jam, but you know, I love, I love, <laughs> I love self, what do you call it? Uh, self-actualization. I love uh, self-determination. I love self-expression. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, uh, brushing my teeth. Um, uh, silicone is non-toxic and it is mouth safe, but I'm still going to wear gloves for the mixing of this, but not to protect me, to protect my molding compound from the oils in my skin. So the directions are really simple. Get the two molds, one blue, one white, out of the bag and place them in your hand. Please wear gloves to prevent perspiration. Mix the two putties together. Use more white than orange to keep the dough softer, kind of like Play-Doh. Uh, mix them until you have a uniform mixture. So more white than orange to keep the dough softer. I don't really need it to be perfectly soft. I just need, yeah, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna, gotcha. Pull this tab here. And we're gonna pull this tab 
here. Oh, this is very much like, uh, oh, you know what it's like? It's like Silly Putty. What's Silly Putty? I think everyone knows what Silly Putty is. I don't think that's a nostalgia toy. Oh, hey. Okay, so I've got my two parts and I'm gonna mix them. And the reason they make them two colors is so that when you see that they're no longer two colors, you probably have them mixed. It's a visual check. That's why uh, epoxies are mix, uh, home mix epoxies are two different colors. Well, it seems pretty uniform. Okay, we're gonna do the uh, upper first. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! Oh, that's a good one. Very pleased with that. I'll wash that out in a minute. Damn, that is freaking cool. Uh, okay, so now we're doing a second one. We're gonna do the bottom. I don't know that I will use all of the material for the bottom. Okay, there's uh, one half, here's the other half, and we're gonna mix them together. Looks like uh, whatever formulation they have of this, it does not gather a lot of air bubbles. It looks like the casting I got is really nice. That seems like it's pretty good. Let's get some on here. Okay, here we go. I was holding this in my hand to be able to feel when it had set enough for me to remove it. Um, because I'm not actually using this on my actual teeth, the stakes are a little lower. I was not going for the full five minutes, but I'm gonna wash these out and blow them out. All right, they are cleaned. They are, I used an air blower to blow them out. I'm gonna put them in some plastic. And uh, I don't know whether this is a standalone video or will be part of another one. There we go, that's my lower. And there we go. There's an upper. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us by watching this channel. You can support us on an even deeper level by heading over to tested-store.com and picking up one of our tested embroidered baseball caps. We got your normal baseball cap, we got your flex fits, and we got flex fit truckers, and we are just starting to play around with lots of new designs, so check back regularly. Thanks.